பிரிட்டிஷ் குயின் உறவுகள் அனைவருக்கும் அன்பான வணக்கம் நம்மளோட சேனலில் அமரர் கல்கி எழுதின பொன்னியின் செல்வன் தொடர் ஆங்கில பதிவில் கேட்டு வந்துட்டே இருக்கீங்க இன்றைக்கி ஐந்தாவது பகுதி பாகம் இரண்டு த ஃபோக் டான்ஸ் தொடர்ந்து பார்க்கலாம் ஹாப்பி லிசனிங் தே கிரீட்டட் த ஆடியன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்டார்ட் டு சிங் அண்ட் டான்ஸ் அட் த சேம் டைம் தே மோஸ்ட்லி சேங் அபவுட் Lord Murga about his fame his love and his heroic deeds they also sang about the glory of the lord's weapon the spear which had made the ocean dry and had annihilated demons like surabatma and gajamuga when so many celestial beauties were queuing up for Murga's hand he came down to earth and that too to the country of tamils and wooed valli the daughter of a hunter king what compassion they all praised the lord in chorus the song about their favorite lord the music the graceful dance the loud drums made the audience go ecstatic with joy may hunger disease and hatred die may rain pour may our lands be forever fertile and our wealth multiply with this invocation the kuruvai kootu came to an end the next item was a vehement form of dancing called velanatam a man and a woman appeared on the stage in this form of dance the man was called devaralan and the woman devarati they were dressed in violent red and had decked themselves with reddish flowers their foreheads were red with kunkumam thanks to chewing pan their mouths were also red their eyes too were red the dance was soft to start with they danced individually and then did a few movements holding each other's hands slowly the movements became faster and their mood angrier the woman took charge of a spear that was on the stage the man tried to grab it from her she blocked it with all her might this happened for a few minutes and then the man jumped high and landed on the stage with such a great noise that the whole stadium shook he grabbed the spear forcefully from the woman the fear in devarati's face was palpable she left the stage with that expression firmly imprinted on her face then the devaralan was solely in control dancing all over the stage as if he were possessed all the demons including surabatma fell in the battle Surabatma's head grew again and again at the end a spark flew from the eyes of Devaralan killing Surabatma once and for all Devaralan dropped the spear on the stage the orchestra stopped playing all of a sudden only the native drum the uduku was heard a priest was standing near the stage playing the drum now Every part of Devaralan's body shook in fear and ecstasy. He is possessed by Lord Murga. The audience were exchanging reverential whispers. After some time, the priest addressed Devaralan as if the latter were Lord Murga himself. O oh my Lord Murga, Vela, the general of the army of angels, Kanda, the one who annihilated Surabatma. You should answer your devotee's questions. Please, I beg of you, my lord. The plea was passionate. Ask as many questions as you like. This is the time. Devaralan did not speak. He wrote, How will be the monsoons this year? will there be enough water in our rivers ponds lakes and reservoirs will our country be fertile will our wishes come true 
you will have a good monsoon this year there will be rains all your reservoirs will be brimming with water whatever you wish will come true but you have not offered prayers to my mother durga she demands a sacrifice from you as a retribution for your sins bhadrakali wants a sacrifice the thandikeshwari who annihilated the demon mahisha wants a sacrifice from you they were all and still remain possessed what kind of sacrifice does she want will you give whatever my mother wants we will we surely will my mother wants to taste royal blood pure blood from a dynasty of kings who have been on the throne for a thousand years without a break devarolin's voice was spooky the dignitaries sitting in the first row exchanged meaningful glances polvetar ayer sambuvar ayer malavar ayer and other nobles talked through their reddened eyes sambuvar ayer caught the priest's eye and gave him a signal the priest stopped drumming they were all and fell on the stage like an uprooted tree devarati ran up to the stage she lifted him up placed him on her shoulders and walked away the audience dispersed without making much of a noise jackals howled in the distant forest vandiya devan could not take his mind off the drama but when he heard the jackals howling the reflexively turned his head in the direction of the sound he could see a human head on the top of the outer wall of the fort that was alvarkadian's head vandiya devan froze have they killed alvarkadian and have kept his head on the wall as a kind of souvenir he blinked and then looked at the same place again the head was not there this time he was quite ashamed of his hallucinatory tendencies but was it a mere hallucination let's see this in chapter 6 my dear friends chapter 5 is getting over here i'll meet you soon with chapter 6 until watch my videos please be supportive and don't forget to subscribe my channel always be connected with english queen's tamil info on vlogs thank you